Have you ever wondered how climate change intensifies the impact of a heat dome, thereby fueling wildfire seasons? Let's embark on a journey to unravel this phenomenon. Three years ago, a gargantuan heat dome loomed over the Pacific Northwest, causing large parts of North America to smolder, then burn. Wildfires charred an astounding 18.5 million acres across the continent, with the highest damage recorded in Canada and California. A recent study revealed the extent to which human-induced climate change amplified this extraordinary event. The heat dome was found to be 34% larger and lasted nearly 60% longer than it would have in the absence of global warming. The researchers attributed up to a third of the area burned in North America that year to the heat dome. So what happens during a heat dome? According to Piyush Jain, a research scientist with Natural Resources Canada, and author of the study, a stagnant weather pattern arises. It becomes extremely hot and dry, drying out the vegetation and rendering the ground highly flammable. In late June of 2021, Jane was living in Edmonton, North America's northernmost city with a million residents, when the temperature soared to 100 degrees. He had never experienced such temperatures anywhere he had lived. Meanwhile, farther south, the town of Lytton in British Columbia experienced Canada's hottest recorded temperature of 119 degrees on June 29th. The town was largely destroyed by a wildfire the following day. For a staggering 27 days, from June 18th to July 14th, the heat dome persisted. The soaring temperatures resulted in the deaths of hundreds of people, mass die-offs of marine life, devastating crop and timber yields, and infrastructure damage. There was an increase in fire danger due to the heat wave, breaking numerous fire weather records over a vast area. It helped stoke blazes in British Columbia, California, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, and Montana. In July alone, more than 7.9 million acres burned in North America, the greatest area in a single month since record-keeping began. Smoke from these fires traveled across the continent, triggering air quality alerts across much of the East Coast. Jane and his team have developed a method for evaluating such extreme weather events by examining anomalies in geopotential heights. These indicate whether there are high or low pressure systems in the upper atmosphere. Long-lasting high pressure systems tend to correspond with heat waves and increased fire risk. Climate change has contributed to a trend of rising heights, potentially magnifying these events. Without this trend, the heat dome would have been 34% smaller, 59% shorter, and had a 6% lower magnitude. In conclusion, human-induced climate change is supercharging heat domes, thereby intensifying fire seasons. Have you ever pondered the effects of extreme heat and wildfires on our environment? The year 2021 served as a stark reminder of the realities we face. As a heat dome enveloped North America, an astonishing 21% of the land was scorched by wildfires that sparked within its confines. That figure rose to a staggering 34% when considering fires that ignited within 10 days of the heat dome's emergence. This extensive heat dome presented a unique and troubling scenario, resulting in widespread synchronous burning, multiple regions igniting simultaneously. This posed a formidable challenge to our fire agencies, traditionally reliant on support from unaffected areas. But when the same strain is felt across the board, resource bottlenecks are inevitable. The consequences are dire. Fires that could have been extinguished in their infancy instead grow large and difficult to contain, demanding even more resources. This synchronous activity, if it continues to persist, could force a reassessment of the reliability of resource sharing arrangements. The heat dome of 2021 posed a significant challenge, causing widespread fires and stretching resources to their limits. A hot topic is the cause and effect relationship between the heat dome and wildfires. So let's break it down. A heat dome, in simple terms, is a weather phenomenon where hot ocean air is trapped, causing temperatures to soar. This heat dome has been a major contributor to the intensity of wildfires in 2021. Now imagine a giant lid trapping the heat over a large area, in our case, North America. This dome of heat led to what researchers termed as widespread synchronous burning. 
This means fires ignited in many different areas at the same time, creating a domino effect. What makes this particularly troubling is the strain it puts on our fire agencies. When a fire sparks, our fire agencies typically call for help from other regions. But what happens when those other regions are also battling their own wildfires? It's like a chain of dominoes falling that and there's no stopping it. This is where our fire agencies hit a bottleneck, a point where there aren't enough resources to tackle the fires. Fires that could have been snuffed out when they were small, grow large and difficult to contain. This situation demands more resources and it becomes a vicious cycle. John Abatsoglu, a professor of climatology who worked on this study, sums it up perfectly. He said that if this type of synchronous activity persists in future years, it could force fire managers to reevaluate the reliability of resource sharing arrangements. Of course, attributing a fire to a single factor is complex. Fires are often fueled by a blend of conditions, anything from overstocked forests to wind. But the hellaciously warm temperatures, the significant heat wave events that year, certainly helped enable fuels to become incredibly available and provided less resistance to fire once a fire started. The heat dome, a result of climate change, has profound implications for wildfire management and necessitates a rethink of existing strategies. So as we move forward, understanding the relationship between heat domes and wildfires will be key to managing and mitigating future wildfire risks. Let's delve into the specific case of California during the summer of 2021. This period was marked by the formation of a heat dome, a weather phenomenon that traps hot ocean air, causing temperatures to soar. The state witnessed the devastating impact of this heat dome on its fire season, with the Dixie and Caldor fires standing as stark examples. The Dixie fire, which began on July 13, spread across 963,000 acres, becoming the first to burn from one side of the Sierra Nevada to the other. This was closely followed by the 221,000-acre Caldor fire. Now, it's important to understand that attributing a fire to any single factor is a complex process. Fires are often fueled by an intricate interplay of conditions, from overstocked forests to wind. However, 2021 saw California experiencing its hottest June to July on record. Researchers have established a strong relationship between warm, dry summers and the area burned in the state's forests. So while we can't definitively say the heat dome alone was responsible for these fires, we can assert that it played a significant role in providing the right conditions for wildfires to thrive. In essence, while it's challenging to attribute the fires solely to the heat dome, its role in creating conducive conditions for wildfires is undeniable. Climate change, extreme weather events, and wildfires are interconnected in a complex web of cause and effect. Recent findings have added a new layer to our understanding of this relationship. They've shown how climate change can intensify extreme weather events, which in turn can fuel wildfires. Imagine a heat dome, a weather phenomenon that traps hot ocean air, intensifying temperatures to abnormal levels. Now, imagine this heat dome triggering multiple wildfires across vast landscapes simultaneously. This is not a dystopian future, but a reality we've witnessed. Understanding the influence of climate change on extreme weather events is not just an academic exercise. It has immediate practical implications for managing risk and infrastructure. Consider fire management systems that rely on resource sharing arrangements. If multiple regions are burning simultaneously, the strain on resources reaches a critical point, potentially leaving fires unchecked and growing out of control. This is why it's essential to untangle the threads of climate change's influence on extreme weather events. Our infrastructure and risk management systems are built around assumptions about how these events will play out. If these assumptions are incorrect, those systems are stressed and the consequences can be devastating. Research into the links between climate change, extreme weather events, and wildfires is crucial for quantifying risks and developing effective strategies to mitigate them.